Welcome to Seeds for Change. I'm so glad you tuned in. Uh, we've got an awesome story we've been looking forward to telling you all week long. This is actually one of my favorite stories in the, in the Bible, and it's about Paul and Silas, and it's in Acts chapter 16. And they were out preaching the word, and they basically got arrested for it. And then it, it talks about they were, they were charged, and then multitudes rose up against them, and they actually tore their clothes off. They, they beat them, they, they laid them with many strips, it says, stripes. And, and so they were humiliated. They, they were charged doing what, what God told them to do. Their clothes were taken off. They were beaten. And then they were sent to the inner prison, fastened their feet in stocks. So they weren't just sent into the prison. They were, the jailer was given specific directions to put them in the deepest, darkest, coldest, nastiest dungeon because they did not want them out. They did not want them comfortable at all. Their feet and their hands were fastened. They were laying there naked, beaten, cold, hurting. And this is what they chose to do in the midst of their trials and and they counted it joy, and they chose to be in God's will and have an attitude of thanksgiving, knowing that God was going to bring them out, even though they could not see it yet. And it says in verse 25, But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Okay? They were praying and singing hymns. Remember, rejoice always, <laughs> pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks to the Lord. So they were praying. They were not ceasing to quit praying. They were rejoicing. They were singing hymns to the Lord, hanging naked beaten, cold, uncomfortable, humiliated in the midst of their trial. They were counting it joy and they were singing praises to God. <laughs> Excuse me. And the others, all the other prisoners could hear them as well as the jailer. And it says in verse 26, Suddenly, <laughs> there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were loosed. Okay, this is just an amazing story. You want to read it, but I'm just going to paraphrase it for you. They chose in the midst of their, I mean, have we really had a problem that bad just because our gas tank may be low, or we may not have our favorite groceries, or our electricity bill's a little late, or we got a late fee, or whatever it may be, or we have an old pair of jeans, I mean, and only two pairs. I mean, they were naked, beaten, hung from their wrist and their feet tied and they chose to praise their God because they knew that he had a plan for them and because of their obedience their chains were loosed but everyone's chains around them were loosed and you know what that jailer got saved they he came in and he thought he was going to be hung because everyone had taken off but he came in and everyone was still there and he's and because of the they heard them singing and they knew that it was the glory of god that they were set free all of the prisoners were saved the jailer was set free and saved and then guess what his family was saved so it is not all about you. It is about your family and everyone else around you. So when you feel like you have been stripped, when you feel like you have been beaten, when you feel like you are charged by the enemy to be hung in the deepest, darkest dungeon, left to be cold and wet and hungry and miserable, know this. You can have a thankful heart in the midst of that. And by you choosing to praise the Lord and count it all joy and sing hymns in the darkest, deepest dungeon, in the darkest, deepest time of your life, your change can be loose. A suddenly can happen in your life, in your family's life, in your employer's life, in your co-workers' lives, in the lives around you, because you chose to have the will of God manifest in your heart and to rejoice always and to pray without ceasing and to count it all joy. I am passionate about this story because it's an amazing thing. I've seen it manifest in my life and I'm still working on it. And so I wanted to charge you with that today and encourage you with that today. No matter what it looks like, I want you to remember that God's mercy endures forever. Be thankful for the things that he has done. And in the midst of a trial, be thankful that there's a suddenly about to happen. The earthquake is about to set you your chains free and the people around you free because of your obedience to have a thankful heart. That is a powerful thing, people. That is a powerful thing.
Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, remember, right there in that dungeon, they were so close to their miracle. And all it took was taking a moment and being thankful to get to it. So whatever your circumstance may look like, you are just around the corner from your miracle. Don't stop now. Don't decide to feel sorry for yourself and whine and cry. Decide to be thankful. Remember all the things you've learned this week and be thankful because that's where the miracles come in your life. Your suddenly's on the way. Ooh.